we Polit Bureau also took note of the success of Mashonar and Central in a first class organization of this event. There was food galore. Uh, we took town urban food <laughs> to the rural area. There were Nandos, they were chicken in, there were all sorts of things which they associate with the, with the bright lights of the cities. They were in Mount Darwin yesterday. It was a, it was a fantastic show of patriotism and you know, general happiness by the Zimbabweans. Uh, the president says, Apana watino siya, apana njimbo ino sara. Here is a concrete example of him taking that mantra right down to the grassroots level of the Zimbabwean society, an area which in colonial times was never considered of any consequence. Kumakore kore, Zambezi Valley, and all other areas on the periphery of the, of the plateau. Now they feel they are part of the great Zimbabwean society, nation. This is a good thing. That's what they fought for in the war. And now they are being part of this inclusivity by the president. The prerogative of when the campaign starts lies with the head of state, the president. And he is a constitutionalist. There are clear timelines stated in the 2013 constitution as to how we gravitate towards election day. I can assure you he is a good lawyer. You know, he went to Lancaster House as one of the key advisors who said, no bullet, no bullet to office, but ballot to office. He's a constitutionalist. He is preoccupied with that, but at the right time, the announcements will be made. Uh, what I can assure you is that the ZANPF never stops campaigning. We campaign as a matter of life and death, <laughs> ZANPF. We, we continuously campaigning. What only comes in is certain events like elections which make us up the tempo. Machines go. We only up the tempo of a process which is ever live in ZANU PF. <laughs> because it's like in the war, you can't afford not to politicize because the intelligence will you will lose and you will be killed if you don't politicize the people. So you've got to be constantly alert and alive and vigilant. That's what the, that's why ZANU PF. The, the campaigning is a way of life <laughs> for us. It's a way of life. If you ask what ZANPF is, we say campaigning to get the, the legitimacy from the people is our way of life because we don't rule because the people, for, we, we fought for the people. We don't rule by the right of that we fought. We rule by the fact that what we fought for is what people of Zimbabwe want. And if we satisfy what we fought for, the people of Zimbabwe would want us more. Mm -hmm. And that's what we live by. So leave that to the president, but definitely it will be according to the constitutional strictures of the country. But we in ZANU-PF, we got our shoes on, man. We really have got our shooters and our, uh, we, are, we, we, are out of the, we are out of the dressing room. Yeah, we are there on the pitch. <laughs> I don't know whether it is the same with the other guys. <laughs> because they can't stop quarreling and their masters are deserting them. We had a very nice congratulatory message from the American government. I think you saw it of our National Day. And a host of other countries sent, I mean, the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs was inundated with the messages of good congratulations and goodwill, including from the United States. I think one, theirs was one of the longest. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was remarkable by its toning down of some of the issues which had been uh, alienated us from the major democracies of the world. We respect the Americans as a major democracy. They may have their own issues, but we respect them. And we are not the ones who made them great. So we have no issues with their greatness. If anything, we want some of their capital to come to Zimbabwe and make us change our life. That is, our, that is our ultimate wish. So it was nice. And it was nice also that the British government saw it fit to invite President Mnangagwa to the coronation of King Charles. Remember, as a young man in 1980, he lowered the Union Jack in Rufaro Stadium to give us independence. It's nice. And we are hearing the grapevine that 
the bonds of our heroes of the first Chimurenga may finally be on their way back. So there is a whole flurry of virtuous diplomacy going on around President Munangagwa and the Second Republic. I repeat, there is a whole flurry of virtuous diplomacy going on around President Munangagwa and the Second Republic. It speaks, it speaks volume or volumes about the success which is notching up as he turns Zimbabwe around from a pariah to a state which is respected on the global stage. It's nice. It's nice. Competent, well-structured, well-educated people with a lot of resources. They need their place in the sun. And President Mnangagwa is giving Zimbabweans their place in the sun. I thank you.